Hello students and welcome to English 8 with Miss Valerie. I hope you are as ready as I am to start learning and having fun. We're in this together, so let's respect and support each other. Remember, education is not the filling of a veil, but the lighting of a fire by William Butler Yeats. In other words, we teachers are not here to bombard you with knowledge, but instead, we are here to help you, guide you, and inspire you in learning. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to expand the content of an outline using notes from primary and secondary sources and use writing conventions to indicate acknowledgement of sources. Primary and Secondary Sources, 4th Grading, Week Number 3 During your Grade 7, Primary and Secondary Sources were already discussed. Can you still remember them? Let's try! For the instruction, read the following descriptions and determine if it is a primary or secondary sources. All you have to do is to grab a notebook and a pen and try to answer the following. You have one minute to finish this. Let's start! Last 20 seconds. Time's up. Now let's check your answers. Done. Now, plus in writing an academic essay or research, you have to gather information and evidences from a variety of sources like books, news, articles, interviews, websites, and etc. In this week's module, we will discuss the primary and secondary sources, specifically what they are and when you can use them. But what do we mean by primary sources? A primary source is anything that gives you direct evidence about the people, event, or phenomena that you are researching. Primary sources will usually be the main objects of your analysis. If you are researching the past, you cannot directly access it yourself. So you need primary sources that were produced at the time by the participation or witnesses. Examples of these are letters, photographs, or even newspapers. If you are researching something current, your primary sources can be collected by yourself. Examples of these are through interviews, surveys, and experiments, or sources produced by people directly involved in the topic like official documents or media texts. On the other hand, when we say secondary sources, it is anything that describes, interprets, evaluates, or analyzes information from primary sources. 
Common examples include books, articles, and documentaries that synthesize information on a topic, synopsis, and descriptions of artistic works, encyclopedias, and textbooks that summarize information and ideas, and lastly, review, e reviews and essays that evaluate or interpret something. But which is better, primary or secondary sources? Most research uses both primary and secondary sources. They complement each other to help you build a convincing argument. Primary sources are more credible as evidence, but secondary sources show how your work relates to existing research. In other words, both primary and secondary sources are important because they complement each other. Let's keep in mind. Primary sources can be music scores, map, acts of laws, photos, data sets, novels, speeches and interviews, legal ruling, and journal articles and technical papers. On the other hand, when we say secondary sources, it can be newspaper articles, documentaries, textbooks, journal articles, review articles. And the general sources can be handbooks and manuals, textbooks, dictionaries and encyclopedias, and practice guidelines. Also, we use primary source if we want to make new discoveries, to provide credible evidence for your argument, and lastly, to give authoritative information about your topic. Whereas, we use secondary sources if we want to gain background information on the topic, to support or contrast your argument with other researchers' ideas, and lastly, to gather information from primary sources that you can access directly. Examples of these can be private letters or physical documents. To sum it up, we have to remember this. Primary sources are first-hand accounts, records, or evidences about a person, place, object, or an event. The, the point of view is, I was there more credible as evidence. Examples are videos, films, interviews, and legal arguments. Secondary sources, on the other hand, are accounts, records or evidence that comes from an original or primary source. Its point of view is I heard or learned about it from somebody who was there. Show how your work relates to existing research. Examples of these are textbooks and documentaries. Now let's try! Choose the appropriate answer to the following question. Grab your notebook and your pen and try answering whether this is a secondary sources or a primary sources. You have 2 minutes to finish this.
Number one, speech is an example of which type of sources? Very good. That is an example of a primary source. How about number two? In research writing, researchers are, are, are advised to use which type of sources? Very good. Both secondary and primary source. Number three, the statement I heard or learned about it from somebody who was there refers to very good. It refers to secondary sources. Number four, which source helps the student to have a deeper understanding about the history? to get information in writing an article, which source are you using? Correct! You are using secondary sources. Now for your activity, you have to answer written task number 1 and number 2 in your Google Classroom. Again, your task is to write or to answer written task number 1 and number 2 in your Google Classroom. For our reference, we have grade 8 English Pivot Learners Packet. 